Hello again, and welcome to my channel. Today I've got a little project, again, another little project for on the, the old coaster lathe here. Uh, I'm going to make, be making some rather large washers, um, about 12mm thick, just under 50mm diameter, and with a 10mm clearance hole uh, for a 10mm countersink screw. So uh, we'll get on and do this job now and uh, I'll, you can see it in the next couple of frames how this job progresses. Okay? Right, well the first thing I need to do is just to uh, face the end of the steel uh, just to give me a nice clean edge to work from. Uh, it feels like a nice piece of steel to work with. It's uh, machining up very nicely indeed. The next thing to do is just to drill a centre drill hole in the end uh, to help with the machining. Uh, as you can see, I'm using the airline just to blow the swarf away from the drill. Well, what I've done here is I've put the soft jaws back in the, in the chuck so that uh, they've got a bit of a step on them so that I can hold the, the, the bar as close to the, the chucks as possible uh, with the centre, as you can see, with the centre in the end. Uh, so I can machine along the whole length. I need to take this down to, uh, well, just under 50 millimetre diameter. In actual fact, it's got to go down to 49,3 uh, millimetres. So uh, that'll just hold it nice and tight while I machine down the outside. Now I've put the standard jaws back on the chuck and I'm drilling a hole in the end. Uh, well, I've, I've got to drill a hole all the way through, but obviously, because I'm limited by the length of the drill itself. So I can get in about, about 100 mil. Uh, I have to keep backing it off uh, just to relieve the drill. Uh, plenty of coolant on it so it doesn't get too hot. And, uh, you know, when that's, when that's done, we'll have a hole through the middle and I can start uh, the rest of the procedure. So here we see I'm just cleaning off the face again, uh, just machining across the face so we've got a nice easy, uh, nice smooth face to work to. Uh, put a little chamfer on just to break the edge of the, of the steel uh, before I then part off. So that will be the next operation. Here I'm parting off uh, to the required length. Uh, plenty of coolant on it because obviously parting off to it's a little bit fragile, so uh, we have to be a bit careful with that. It's a bit difficult to see with the amount of swarf that's coming off as well, but uh, hopefully you see what's going on. So here we have the final operation in this project, and that is to put the countersink into the end of the, the disc. As you can see, the disc is about 12 millimeter thick. I've put the soft jaws back on again because uh, They've got a step in them and I can put each, each disc in uh, flat on, onto, the, uh, onto the shoulder that's on the, the soft jaws and that way I can get them all in the same place. So uh, I've shown it, showed me doing two of them so that uh, you can see what, uh, what's involved in it. So here we have all 20 of them. Uh, all finished off with a chamfer on each side and the countersunk hole for the M10 screw. So uh, yeah, it's not bad. They look okay to me. Uh, nice little job finished off. Well, there we are. That's another little little project completed. Uh, went quite well in the end. It was a, worked out about uh, about seven hours work in total. So. Uh, it's no, no mean job, but there are 20 of them to make, so, uh, you know, it, uh, it took a little while, each, each little operation um, progressed through quite nicely. Okay, so thanks very much for watching, and look out for more videos in the future. And if you haven't already, please subscribe, and if you have any comments, obviously, once again, if you have any comments to make, please be free, feel free to do so. 
I won't be offended if you don't like what I do, but uh, please uh, make a comment if you have enjoyed it as well. Okay, thanks very much. See you in the next video. Bye.